Hi friends, welcome to my channel. Today we're gonna to talk about Goose Creek and I got some lotions and some candles from them. They were having a sale. I, my hoarder tendencies come out when people have sales and I ignore them and those emails for a while, but then they just seem to get better and better. And I was getting low on candles. I really was. The This size candle, I have three that are opened, but I only had one that wasn't open yet. And the smaller size one, I had two that aren't open and two that are open. So see, I, that felt like just in no time, I could have been completely out of candles. And that, you know, would be terrible. Except that I actually had told myself I was going to not buy more candles until I was completely out just to see how that would feel. But then they had this sale. And where, again, this size candle sometimes would be $25. They had them on sale for $6.99. Some of them were $7.99. We'll get into all of that too. And just a little bit more. But that's still, what a great sale. So I ended up buying enough that I could get free shipping. But you have to order $100 worth to get free shipping. So that's why I ended up getting so many. So they had a whole series of them out based on like cereal scents. And they were the one, they were on sale for $6.99. And I like fruity and gourmand scents anyway. Sweet. So I thought that would be perfectly great for me for $6.99. This one, Jungle Pebbles, it says that it has top notes of wild berry, lemon and lime, mid of cherry, orange and grape. And the base is a sugared cereal notes with powdered sugar. And it, it smells exactly like what you think it would smell like if you opened a box of, you know, Fruity Pebbles. And I'm down for that. A sugary, fruity scent. Yeah, I'm, I'm good with that. I like it. They also had Apple Stacks, which I thought this one would be a little different because it is Sweet Apple. Crunchy cereal, light cinnamon, and vanilla. And I definitely smelled the cinnamon and the apple in it. And not so much the cereal scent, which I did in the other one. So this one to me could just be a cinnamon apple scent, which I think is lovely. The next one is Marshmallow Happiness. And won't this one be cute sitting out in March around St. Patrick's Day and such? This one, I can smell cold, like kind of almost a perfumey scent though to it. It doesn't give me the whole cereal thing, but I trust the company and I think that it probably will smell like I want it to when it's lit. So it says the top is warm marshmallow, blue raspberry, then mid is strawberry, lime, cereal grains, and base is sugared cereal notes and powdered sugar. Um, all of these are like a soy wax blend and 35 plus hour for the three weeks, 100% lead free. And the last one of the cereal ones is this yummy chocolate chips. And it is top milk chocolate and then cookie pieces. The mid is cocoa and vanilla and the base is sugared cereal notes with powdered sugar. And I think it smells a lot like probably even the next one is going to smell just like a hot chocolatey chocolate candle. I like it actually for $7 for these candles that are usually 25. So also in their sale with some of their past holiday scents. And this one was out from Halloween. It was also $6.99. I actually had gotten this scent already and knew that I liked it. So when I saw it there, it's called Forbidden Elixir. I thought I would pick it up again. It is cotton candy, blue raspberry, wild berry, sour candy and sugar. So not new to me, but because I liked it, I'm good with it. Then this one was out from Christmas and I'll probably put it back, you know, until Christmas and get it out since it does have like Santa hands on it. Um, this one was a dollar more, so $7.99. And it is cookie dough, warm chocolate, caramel, hazelnut, creamy vanilla, and sweet sugar. And yeah, cold, I can't tell a big difference between the chocolate chip one and this one. But again, if I like it, it doesn't really matter to me. 
Now this one's sneaking up in price because it was $8.99 because it was from the Valentine collection, but I just think it's kind of a cute looking candle too. So I'm okay with it. It was pink sugar berry and it is pink strawberry, candied sugar, lemon, and berries. Also the world traveler collection was on sale. So now we're going back down in price and these were $7.99. If that's wrong, I'll, I'll list it. But this one I had also already had one time from the Netherlands. It was the Stroop waffle and it's crisp waffle, hazelnut, chocolate shavings, creamy caramel, buttery dough, sugared vanilla, and warm honey, and I liked it, and I think that it's a pretty candle. I like the color in it, too. I think it'll be pretty in spring. And this one, although it kind of looks familiar to me, I don't think that I've ever had this Mexico one, and it was, I'll pronounce it wrong, Trey Lake Cheese Cake. Um, this one also has a weird scent to it, cold, that I really hope is not there when it's lit, because I can't place it, but it doesn't smell foody. It smells more perfumey to me, and it's supposed to be condensed milk, buttery caramel, cookies and cream, and vanilla. And unless it's, you know, condensed milk that's kind of gone bad, I don't think it smells like condensed milk. But again, I think it'll be okay lit. And if not, I'll, I'll be scared, and you'll have to, I'll tell you about it. This one I paid a little bit more for, but... It's bourbon and I just really wanted to smell it and I'm going to go stay with my mother um, for a uh, little over a week 10 days ish and my mom likes bourbon and I thought it'd be fun to bring along with me when I go see her it doesn't smell like bourbon to me so it says that bourbon should be a white citron vanilla orchid cinnamon stick Kentucky bourbon, warm amber, oak barrel, and cedar wood. Yeah, I don't know what it smells like. It smells like an old leather belt to me. But I think it's fun that it says bourbon, probably because my mom likes drinking it, and I'm going to go stay with her, and I, I'm still okay with it. And, you know, I really think not everybody is into the, like, sweet candy scents that I'm in and that my mom would actually probably prefer this anyway and I'll be lighting it while I'm at her house. Then, because part of me was feeling like I can't keep buying all these candles. That's a lot of candles, right? Um, maybe I'll just get a couple more of the little ones because that'll feel like I'm buying less, right? Okay, so then I got three little ones. The Toasted Hot Toddy, Dark Rum, Molten Maple Blend, Toast of Pecans, Light Warm Vanilla. I love the way this smells, but it smells like maybe the Toast of Pecans, like a little nutty, caramel nut smell to me. Watermelon Lemonade, which is Juicy Summer Watermelon, Freshly Squeezed Lemonade, and Pure Cane Sugar. <laughs> smells like Watermelon Lemonade, <laughs> just as I would have it expected. And then the last one is a blueberry cheesecake. Now something about blueberry cheesecake just sounded deliciously smell. I love the smell of blueberry stuff, um, which is odd because I, I really don't like blueberries. Like I think I should eat them because I've heard they're good for my mental health. Um, but yeah, I kind of have to pop them like pills, which I love raspberries and blackberries, but not blueberries, but I love the smell of blueberries. All right. So anyway, this is this one and juicy wild blueberries, sugary fruit topping, warm vanilla, spun sugar, cream cheese, baked pie crust. And yeah, I would, I want my whole house to smell like this. I want me to smell like this. It smells good to me. But then they also had some body lotions clearanced out to $1.99. And I just thought that was a good price. And I think maybe because I've been using a lot of body lotions lately, I thought, oh, I, I could replenish them then since that's such a good price and I've been using them so often. However, I really still have plenty, so I didn't really need to replenish them. I should have just kept working on my stash and gone through them, but I couldn't pass up. It said candy cane kisses. And when I read it's peppermint, cool spearmint, white chocolate, cotton candy, and whipped vanilla. And it sounded like a great scent. It sounded perfect for me. So I got that one 
And then I also got this black amber plum because I thought it has the fruity side of it, which I really like, but then it's not all fruity. So maybe it would have, you know, like a more grown up smell than just smelling like a fruit loop if I wanted something more mature sometimes. So it is Sweet Plums Sparkling Mandarin, which is more like what I would like, but then it has mid tone of Jasmine and then a base of Black Amber, Vivitor, Vivitor, and Patchouli. And I actually like Patchouli. So um, this smells a lot to me like the Dark Kiss did from Bath and Body Works, um, which I always liked that too. And then last thing is just a watermelon lemonade hand cream because because I like a good sale and I needed once I got up this high in price I thought well just a couple more things will at least get me free shipping and then it would be like getting it free right so I mean really let's say shipping was ten dollars if I wouldn't have gotten these lotions I would have spent ten dollars in shipping and instead I got these free things. That's how I'm going to look at it. I just thought I'd share my haul because I got in at like two in the morning last night after flying in and you know how like that those travel days are long. And I was so excited because this was a great big box waiting for me at my door. And I just wanted to share with you and I guess let you know because I really do like these candles and the way that they smell just as much as the Bath and Body Works ones. And I always find them for cheaper than the Bath and Body Works ones. So that's my haul for today. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you in another video. Bye. Thanks for sticking around for the end of my video. As I mentioned, I just got in last night. So I'm going to hope to try to put together a little video blogging that I did on my husband's business trip that we went out of town for. And I had days that I just spent to myself. It's Nothing crazy exciting. It was fun. I show you a couple of my outfits, a couple of my eye looks in it, and um, hopefully you'll enjoy that. So subscribe. Thanks for subscribing and see you around. Bye. Just when you thought the video was over, I am back because I wanted to talk about these two that I had that are the ones that are almost all the way done anyway. See, and then I would have actually only had one left. Okay. This Italy one, I it was a sweet tiramisu flavor, and I really did like it. It has a bit of a coffee scent to it, though, in case you know, that's not something you're into. If you do like a little coffee scent, it smells good. And then the cinnamon pumpkin is honestly not been my favorite. It, I've had other ones that were cinnamon apple that I liked better, or... Yeah, some for the false sense. Maybe I don't like a pumpkin smell as much as I thought that I did. <laughs> okay, just thought I'd share while I was sharing. <laughs>